hidden inside she lifted the heavy cardboard cover with her thumb and forefinger and smelled the addictive scent that can only be found in old books the pleasant musty smell of yellowed paper but when her eyes fell onto the page she saw what had been done immediately someone had taken great care to hide something in this old book and when she saw it she almost fainted nonprofit organization retired school teacher Kathy McAllister was hard at work the day she found hidden treasure she and 130 other volunteers were gearing up for the annual charity book sale hosted by volunteer nonprofit service Association Incorporated in Phoenix Arizona the volunteers had their work cut out for them as they prepared for what is said to be the largest charity used book sale in the Southwest 600,000 books the VNSA collects more than 600,000 used books from a variety of sources many of which are local donors once donated volunteers are tasked with the daunting job of sorting cleaning and pricing the books for the enormous event if you've ever been to a book fair of this size you can just imagine the preparation that goes into them but nothing could have prepared Kathy for what she would find inside the cover of one particular donated book treasure trove Kathy had been volunteering for the VNSA for seven years and had once again found herself sitting amid a tower of secondhand books that needed to be sorted she began by looking at the books condition published date and popularity Unfortunately, there isn't a great demand for hardcover books unless they're rare or first editions So she was disappointed to see another copy of Edward Gibbons the decline and fall of the Roman Empire in the pile Little did she know this was no ordinary book Another man's trash The book was battered and was one of four copies that she had already cleaned and priced for resale So she knew there was probably only one thing for it and placed it into the trash pile The books that were unsuitable for resale were destined to be pulped and repurposed Although it pained her to imagine such a fate for a once loved book the organization simply didn't have enough space to keep every book that was donated But then a little voice in the back of her mind interrupted her second thoughts Maybe she could save this book from such an unjust fate She thought as she lifted it off the pile again she decided to leaf through the pages to see if they were as damaged as the cover Perhaps she'd been too hasty in her decision She was an avid book lover herself and she couldn't bear to toss out a perfectly readable book Luckily her second look wouldn't go unrewarded a book crime She gently opened the thick cardboard cover and readied her fingers to fan the pages so she could quickly assess their condition but she was surprised to see that there was something else hidden inside the ordinary looking book Someone had committed something so sacrilegious and scandalous to any book lover that beads of sweat started to form on her forehead Heidi hole Someone had taken an exacto knife to the pages of the book and had cut out a neat rectangle Where the pages should have been there was only an empty space But it was what was inside that space that made Kathy take a double take Someone had made a clever hidey hole for hiding secrets away from prying eyes. I Had the book in my hands Kathy said in an interview I was ready to toss it because we had several copies already But when I fan that book out, there's a big hole carved out in the book amongst the pages There was a flash of green and at first she thought that maybe the whole thing was a practical joke a joke Kathy's first thought was that someone had hidden monopoly money inside the cavity but soon she realized that inside the hollowed out book were wads of cold hard cash She lifted out the bills with shaking hands and began to count and was floored by the amount They were $100 bills Meticulously banded together in four stacks, but who had done such a thing? Moral dilemma Kathy counted a total of four thousand dollars and she couldn't believe her eyes her first thought was wow This is enough money to fund a supplemental charity then she realized that she had a tough decision to make after all four thousand dollars is a large amount of money If she put that money toward the charity she'd so faithfully supported for the last seven years it could make a huge difference What would you do? But Kathy knew there was only one thing to do My values were grounded in our faith the church taught us what was right and wrong 
it just becomes who you are after a while she explained so even though the money could be used for good she never even considered keeping it but how would she find the money's rightful owner detective work luckily the decline and fall of the Roman Empire didn't only contain cash in its cavity there was also a letter addressed to the previous owner stashed inside but with only a name to go on she had a difficult task ahead of her that's when she noticed a crucial detail about the last name on the letter Google search the name of the book's owner was rather unusual and Kathy used this to her advantage she fired up Google and performed a search and found what she'd been looking for in just 10 minutes it turned out that the money belonged to a man and his daughter so she called them up with the good news returning the cash after managing to get in touch with the owner's son-in-law Kathy asked them to meet her at the warehouse so she could return their money she would have delivered it personally but she was simply too busy with the preparations for the much anticipated book fair she was surprised and slightly amused to hear that the man who had painstakingly hidden his savings in the old book hadn't even remembered that he'd hidden it there the family was so grateful to get the cash back that they decided to donate a large part of it to volunteer nonprofit service association in a display of gratitude they were in awe of Kathy's unhesitating willingness to track them down and return the money soon news of Kathy's honesty had spread across the town Kathy became an internet sensation overnight but her fans had only one question that they wanted an answer to they simply couldn't believe that she wouldn't have kept the money for herself after all not many people would have gone to the lengths Kathy did to ensure the cash is safe return to its owner doing the right thing every time Kathy was asked why she didn't just keep the money for herself or more nobly give it to charity she replied nonchalantly I don't know how you'd sleep at night to Kathy the thought of dishonestly keeping four thousand dollars in cash that wasn't hers was simply unthinkable she certainly has an unwavering sense of morality book fair on February 9, 2019, the donors to the VNSA Book Fair officially opened to the delight of book lovers all over town. But Kathy and the other VNSA volunteers were curious to see how their customers behaved after the story of finding $4,000 in cash inside an old book broke on the local news stations. They expected to see a throng of people opening up every book they could find in hopes of getting lucky too. Book Lover's Paradise I don't think that anybody else will find four thousand dollars in a book but books are a great gift with or without four thousand dollars Kathy explained laughing and the volunteer nonprofit service Association continues to operate as it has for the last 63 years supplying books to the general public at affordable prices and repurposing whatever they can't sell Thank you.